What's happening there, kiddos? We're gonna watch ourselves Gravity Falls episode 14 today. If you can leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. Subscribe and click that bell to get notified when our reacts for the next Falls is up. Then, boys at Prepper, thank you for helping us edit down these highlights. You guys are all solid people. And also, uh, full length watch alongs, we single put the time go for Gravity Falls over at our Patreon page. Thank you to all who have shown their support by becoming Super Jacks today and checking all the crap. I got an offer over there. Let's get to it. I've said too much. In this land of ours, there are many great pits, but none more bottomless than the bottomless pit, which as you can see here is bottomless. <laughs> Uncle Stan, why are we here again? To dispose of things that we don't want. So long, Mystery Shack suggestion cards. Oh no. Oh no. Little Gideon. <laughs> die, die! <laughs> What are you doing? Throwing stuff, dude. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> what you got there, Mabel? <laughs> it's just my personal box of mysterious secrets. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Goodbye forever! Oh, no. Do I really have to be the one to point out that a bottomless pit is, by definition, impossible? Says you. Well, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Some sort of invisible pushing force. <laughs> Quick, everyone back to the shack. Back, back to the shack. Ah, uh, Uncle Stan, no! Here we go. No! <laughs> and away we go. <sighs> Something about the animation there looked like an earlier animation. Like an earlier episode that they have redesigned for this. <laughs> or yeah. It's like when you watch Family Guy season four versus Family Guy season two. Or early Simpsons versus now Simpsons. Tracy Ullman Simpsons. There's hey! somewhere where it looks like we're nowhere. <laughs> we're gonna land on something eventually. Could be any second now. Why don't you throw that down there? Well, it looks like we're down here for the long haul. Who wants to see some card tricks? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Fine. I'll tell you a story. A story I'd like to call voiceover. Huh. Ready? Spin the pit! Oh my god, this is an anthology episode. Let's do it. I think I just got bit by a snake. I need you to get me to a hospital quick. Uh, sorry, it's just hard to focus on what you're saying with that squeaky puberty voice you got there. So my voice doesn't crack. But it cracks so much we've already made a techno remix out of it. My name's Dipper Pines. 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 Oh. Do I really sound like that? Oh, here comes my favorite part. Stop it, guys! Embarrassing. Uh. <sighs> Ugh, even my sighs sound weird. Hello there! I couldn't help but overhear your situation. Old man McGucket. <laughs> Part-time inventor. Yeah. Lately, I've been a tinkerizing with a voice alter and tonic on account of my horrifying voice. <laughs> <laughs> this will really fix my voice. Thanks. You're gonna sound like him. Come morning, you'll sound like a new man. <sighs> Good morning, Dipper. Nice. I love it. Now I have a new voice. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's so weird. Who's my favorite Mabel? <laughs> I knew boys' voices changed, but this is weird. Just think of the prank calls. This is the President of the United States of America. I'm calling to tell you. <laughs> what? Who is this? <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> How you diddly doing, Zeus? Kill it! Oh, kill it with fire! Yeah. Everyone flee! I thought you'd like the new one. Dude, at least before you sounded like a real person. <laughs> oh. Grunkle Stan! Where are you, Grunkle Stan? Huh? This guy. You're the guy who prank called me earlier! Oh, shit. No, no, I'm not. I'm just a 12-year-old boy. <laughs> I there's a prank call around the loose. Let's get him! Yeah. Yeah. Where's Mo? Should be first in line. This man. Your invention was a catastrophe. That's probably why I live in the dump. <laughs> <laughs> I got tap skills. Well now, here's your problem. I gave you the wrong drinky majig. This one's for voiceover professional. Uh -huh. 
come sundown, you'd have reverted back to your ridiculous old voice. It was ridiculous, wasn't it? Yes. No. Zipper, your voice is one of a kind. Dude, I've never heard anything like it. Remix over. This one should be permanent. <clears throat> hey, guys. Zipper! Oh, dude. Ha. I guess I realized that even though my voice might not be perfect, it's still mine. And I wouldn't change it for anything. Not even for whatever was in this new vial. So what did you do with the rest of that potion? I dumped it in Stan's coffee. Where'd my girdle at? All right. I'm Grunkle Stan! <laughs> <laughs> Head movement. Everyone spin! No. Woo! <laughs> Dipper's pain is funny, but I'm starting to get bored. <laughs> <laughs> this story is called <laughs> Seuss's Really Great Pinball Story. Is that a good title? They have to be like puns or whatever. <laughs> I might finally get the high score on Stan's creepy old pinball machine. Have you ever tried maybe just tilting the machine? I don't know, dudes. Isn't breaking the rules like against the rules? Next to the rules. <laughs> Right, that's it. Ready, kids? Uh, Wowie. Bullseye! Woo. Oh! Ah! This is the best moment of my life. This totally beats my old best moment. Ah! <laughs> I want that experience. You cheated. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Uh, guys, there's an awful lot of green lightning coming out of that game. Nah, uh, that's the normal amount of green lightning. Dude, you can get a tooth like that guy. Dude, that's that's my goal. I get told him to give me the Seuss. We're inside the game! Crazy. Sweet mouth. Cool. That's incredible. If this is a dream, I never want to wake up. That could be your right. His tooth, I meant. Oh, yeah. I want to be a one t gold tooth guy. That's my goal. I feel like I gotta earn it. If and I do recall, I warned y'all not to cheat. I tried to be gentleman like, but I'm plumb sick of being tilted. Oh. I'm gonna tilt you. Well, take this. Ah. Uh. Get yourselves ready for the. <sighs> <sighs> oh, that's dangerous. Always sounds more fun than it is. How are we ever gonna get out of here? Think, guys. I'm trying, but it's hard with that gorgeous pinball wench distracting me. <laughs> Work your magic. There's a manual power switch inside. I can sneak in there and turn off the game. But we'll have to distract the cowboy guy. Listen to me and look at what I'm doing! Distraction! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Just press the switch already! Okay, so I was gonna do that. But I've been thinking. According to this, turning off the power erases the high score permanently. Oh my god, man. You cheated. <laughs> Get ready to meet your maker, kids. My maker is Ballway Games in Redmond, Washington. My zing. It's a good combination of Bally's and Midway. Zeus! Zeus, please! Come on, buddy. Ah! Goodbye, high score. Ah! Huh? Hey, man, I'm sorry you had to lose your high score. That's okay. I got a new life accomplishment now. Saving you dudes. Aww. I'll tell you a good story. It's called Grunkle Stan Wins the Football Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> I thought old folks were useless, but you taught me and my <laughs> gloating friends a lesson. <laughs> awesome. But I couldn't have done it without my sidekick, Footbot. Thank you for building me, Daddy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell a non-terrible story. A story called Truthy. Oh no. That can't be good. It's a good title. Truly. <laughs> good title card. <laughs> no! No! So let me get this straight. Your plan is to teach this bear to ride a bicycle? No, no. I'm gonna teach this bear to drive. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no. And the yellow light means speed up. <laughs> Green means stop. Or red means stop. Green means go. Yellow means go very fast. You see, I'm a very old man. And the doctors assigned me a seeing eye bear to drive me to the hospital in case of emergencies. Then where's your doctor's note? 
Ah, there you go. <laughs> Uncle Stan, how could you lie to those police? <sighs> when you get to be my age, you'll learn that sometimes you have to bend the truth for the greater good. Hey, has anyone seen my plate of spaghetti? <laughs> no, but I bet Zeus has. This is a dark day. <laughs> oh. Greater good. Ah! No. Waddles. Wow, good core work. He needs to stop lying. I know, but how do we stop him? Maybe you should check Dipper's journal, oink, oink. Waddles, you <laughs> genius! I love that Waddles is just a, a recurring character now. In the deep forest are truth teeth, which force upon the wearer an inability to lie. Hmm. Jim Carrey dentures. What happened to Dipper's spaghetti plate? I ate it because I have little to no concern for other people's possessions or emotions. <laughs> that was strangely candid, almost as if I'm unable to lie. This is bad. What do you do in secret every day during your lunch break? Usually I spend the hour aggressively scratching myself in places I shouldn't mention. Oh. And go to the bathroom without washing my hands. Uh, so yeah. bad. Don't worry, Dipper. The truth is always a good thing. No. <laughs> Do you think this t-shirt is my size? Never mind the t-shirt. Hey, everybody! Look at this guy's abnormal and unattractive face! Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Looks like a weeple. <laughs> I have committed tax fraud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is life just some kind of horrific joke without a punchline? That we're all just biding our time until the sweet, sweet release of death? <laughs> Existential Stan. You have to take those teeth out of his mouth. But then he'd be a liar again. Could it possibly be any worse than this? So after further investigation, turns out... <laughs> you see, I lied to you. In addition, I've been parking in handicapped spaces, shoplifting fireworks, and smuggling endangered animals across multiple state lines. And speeding! <laughs> no, no, it's not true. Right, Mabel? Our great uncle Stan is... is... Uh. He was just telling you about a character from his upcoming page turner, Crime Grandpa. He's never committed a crime in his life. Also, have you lost weight? Uh -huh. Smooth. Can't believe I lied. Mabel, it was for the greater good. Hello, police station. Yeah, I forgot huh? to tell him huh? about my tax fraud. No, tax. Ugh. <laughs> uh, really enunciate there. You have to find a place to get rid of these. Ha 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 And I never saw that box full of magical teeth again. There must be an answer in there. Ugh. And the shoes. Oh, sweet, my <laughs> shoes. So if we're living through that story right now, then how does it end? Guys, do you see that? The bottom. This is going to spit them right back out again. Ah! Oh. The sky? Ah! <laughs> yeah. We came right back out the top. It must be some kind of wormhole. But that's impossible. No one will believe us. Sell tickets. We should keep to ourselves. Agree. <laughs> Dude, what what a perfect ride this would be for for Mystery Shack patrons. That's so boring. It's gonna be so boring. Reminds me of Bill and Ted. Just. Whoa. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what are all those numbers? Oh, every episode at the end of the credits apparently has a cipher that you can solve. Oh. Yeah. So, you know. I'm not like going to take the time to do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't got time for riddles. <laughs> the answer's justice. <laughs> it's going to be forever that now. <laughs> what was your favorite one? Uh, I think my favorite story overall for story purposes was the Grunk Godfather 2. Was the Godfather <laughs> 2, best movie of all time. Uh, you can fight me about it. Uh, way better than the original movie. Not quite as good as the third one, but it's my personal favorite. 
Uh, I think the pinball story is my favorite from an aesthetic point of view because I, Jonald M. Humphrey, love pinball dearly. It's my favorite kind of arcade game. Um, Why are you so terrible at it? You know, because I only get to play like once every so often when I wind up near a pinball machine because that's the hardest kind of game to get in your home without it being like on the computer and then it doesn't count. You know? You are and I'm awful at pinball. I just have a passion for it and I it's not about You're the points. So bad. Uh you know, I just like to put quarters in stuff. You and know, one time like, it was like a group of us who were just drinking our beer and just watching John you know, fail. I it's so awful. Just all the different pictures. You're are, the first person I ever saw so get awarded with new lowest themes. Score. <laughs> I yeah, was still distinct in that game. You know, I proved myself in a way. I got That's also uh, an extreme superlative. I believe in an underdog story, but once in a while I gotta learn to quit. It was an overdog story. That I was like, how can I sink to the bottom here? Most compellingly. <sighs> Ah, uh, truth be told, I've never seen John play pinball once in my oh, life. You're missing so, uh, out. You're missing out. I think I've seen him play space pinball is what you're talking I about. I walk in the room, I'm like, you know, like there are cool angles and stuff, and then I start playing quietly yeah. on my own, but then an hour later, pretty soon, everyone in the bar is like around me, like, what's this guy doing next? Where is he going to put that ball? What's he going to sign his name as when he only has three letters to do it? Yeah, yeah, that's also a fact. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you go with poo? What do you go with? Jew. Jew! That's a three-letter word. Yeah. Plus, then, if anybody sees it, they'll just assume that, like, any and all Jewish people are probably responsible for that high score. So, like, the entire, you know, Jewish people are represented. Mm. Content. Content. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Sue's pinball for, for my personal heart. Probably stand for a narrative, you know, uh narrative purpose what about you what was your favorite part or story or moment it's definitely the truth egg okay. i think that is a brilliant title that's a brilliant title it is for especially you know considering what the concept is uh-huh yeah. like that is clever yeah I don't. Th I think you guys are underestimating the, the wittiness of that <laughs> title. Plus the ability it, it allows you to, to to then you know have the stylized spelling of the word truth with, with the two T. T. That is genius. And the gum line. Yeah, it's great. That great is visual. Genius storytelling. All purpose. Wonderful. Yeah. I was genuinely imp alone off of the <laughs> title and the title card. Was dazzled by. That surely that is smart. Surely it is. Yeah. And then they just did like liar liar. Yes, yeah, so it was Sam. Grunkle liar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that title card. Yeah, and plus, you know, it, I always love that motif in any cartoon show. We don't get as much with a show like this that usually has one story, but you get three little title cards like a classic cartoon. Fair. You know. Plus. Fair. This episode was probably very affordable, because half of it had no backgrounds. <laughs> it was also uh, well executed for, you know, to do an anthology episode, tell four stories, three and a half, three and like, three point two five. Three round. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Stan's is just like a quick little vignette. But to tell that amount of stories and, and like to have a beginning, middle, and end in 20 minutes, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. So I had a little bit more than like, a little bit more like sitcom punchy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not as much time to build gags off of situations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I really like the deep voice one. Uh, hey. For some reason, the pinball one, while aesthetically I like the most, I was actually the least entertained by that one. I would probably meet you there, because the first one has the the silliness of the voice that just works across the board. Yeah, that's very relatable. Yeah, and then the third one... You know, there's some some funny writing I think in the third one, but yeah, the pinball is the most straightforward. I don't love. I forgot his name. Seuss. I don't love Seuss that much. Oh, uh, I do. I love Seuss. I like Seuss. I know when you say you don't love Seuss that much, it means you hate the that show. Means you hate the show and everything and it's about and that character. Shows. Yeah. I don't watch it and go. Fuck Seuss, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't. Oh, yeah. no. Don't bring him back on screen. But I don't personally gravitate towards Zeus. But I like him. It's fair. I like him. I just, I just, uh, he's the least. Never excited to see him, <laughs> nor am I disappointed when he's not featured. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just like, ah, I could give or take without that guy. But he had some funny moments in here. I might, who knows, we might get a Seuss episode at some point. Hmm. Seuss's Juices. <laughs> hey, that's a great title there. Yeah. If you want to talk about a truth egg, that's a good ass title. And plus, no, nothing you know, tops truth egg. Imagine, well, you know, R -O -T -H second best. T H A. Yeah. Oh, brilliant title. I thought it was going to be like some weird body order thing. I was yeah, like, I did. <laughs> what is this episode? <laughs> these teeth going to be kind of like teeth. T scary horror plus teeth is very skin crawling, you know? It's very unnerving. What so, about horror plus butts? Dude, there's a lot of, I mean, it's not the most mainstream, but when you get like a particularly nasty horror butt gag, it's it's very, very squirmy as well in a totally different way. What know? about that Attack of the Butts book I borrowed from you? Dude, I, I never got it back. Dude, was it good? Dude, was I, it worth it? I put it in a book burning file. <laughs> the night my butt <laughs> ran away or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, I should, I am going to order another copy. It's, they're probably. They're probably, They're probably goodwills order. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to see that brought to life here. I think some disembodied butts. I mean, there was they assy... did that with realistic butts. There was they a show real, like just real, like some are different, like hairy, hairless, <laughs> big, small, flat. Yeah, bubbly, bubbly onion booties. Yeah, yeah. There was a show on Adult Swim called Assy McGee. <laughs> about there's a real cop cartoon about a cop who was like legs who, who was an ass and he had just legs and he walked backwards because his ass was his face and uh -huh. out of the cheeks came arms and he had like a gun and and this is a real show you can watch for a season or two's worth of a cop show called assy mcgee so like you know part of part of your wish has already come true but i think he was the only butt guy in that show you know so. Speaking of butts. Butts. Patreon. <laughs> Eric Horstman. <laughs> when I think about who at our Patreon has a good butt, but more importantly, oh, yeah. wouldn't cancel us for talking about your butt, it's Eric Horstman. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're the only you're the one. Bet. Who would let There's us talk about your butt? <laughs> yeah, I would love to to see you in like a form-fitting pair of spandex tights or something like that. Yeah, I would love to just uh, get a sculpture, like a wax sculpture, put it above my fireplace in my future four-story mansion. Ooh! <laughs> so when people walk in and they see that sculpture, like whose ass it's mounted is that? on a fine piece of mahogany? They're like, not right there. Uh, Great horseman ass. No, a horseman arse. Horseman. Is, is what we call it. <laughs> Just the arse. You gotta be sophisticated. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so, yeah. Anyway, Eric, I've seriously been contemplating. I have this wish in my head. Uh, it's a really morbid wish, but it's also so sweet. Mm. Oh my God, if I vlogged it, we get so many views. Oh, now I gotta do it in private to look humble. Son of a bitch. But it's that you're dying in the hospital. Mm. Oh, okay. And then I get a real rejects tattoo, but I put your name in there. Oh, since you got a real rejects Eric tattoo. Eric Horst, I visit you. I would vlog it. And you get the tattoo views. on your butt. No, it's got to be on my arm, so that way people will ask it. And like, uh, oh my god, yeah, you're you show so your... sweet. <laughs> you don't show your. You're butt like to a lot the of best human ever. You are such a charitable. Greg to, really to cares about his fans. Look at that. I'm like, yeah. oh my god, dude. Oh, th that would just elevate your status in this world that much more. I know. As Eric, I'm waiting till I get canceled, and then yeah. I'm gonna do that. That's the plan. Got off. That's Bounce good. back, man. Quality. Because he grants a good person, he's changed. See, he dedicated <laughs> his arm space to this one guy who's dying. So, Eric, you have saved us from cancellation. Cancel proof! Eric Horseman, greatest horse.